in the world with anybody. I paid my I wanna be high. I paid my dues to make it. Now I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. This Sunday shave is brought to you by Team Vance. That's right, Mike, Kelly, and Caitlin Vance. I want to thank you for sponsoring the show. Now let's get cracking. All right, guys, I got my box in the mail like all the other clowns that have done a review of this. Now for the show sponsor, I am sporting one of the two orange hats that my boy Mike Vance loves. Now this hat, there's a distinction, but this hat right here was purchased by my woman and she bought this hat for me because it's uh, waxed, so it keeps my balding head clean, fresh, and dry. And this is made by the Orvis Company. Great gift. This is gift time. So these are two great gifts, guys, for someone in your life. Mike Vance, you should show this video to Kelly and Caitlin. Maybe you'll get yourself an orange hat. So the Orvis uh, waxed water-resistant hat. And let's unbox this and get going with the shave. Because I know you guys are, are looking forward to it. Show sponsor, the Vance family. And Orange Hat is a tribute to you guys. You guys have been supporting the show. And I really want to thank you. All right, let's get right to it. This brings you back if you're an old dude like me. It brings you back. It just has like a retro feel about it. And this is what your Gillette Heritage Razor will come in. That's why I'm saying it makes a great present for someone. The holidays are here. Good present for yourself. Like I got it from me. All right. Let's open it up. And we'll get right into it real quick for you guys who want to get into the shaving. Comes with a little leaflet like in the old days. There's no app involved. Just some information about King C. Gillette, the founder of Gillette. Information about how to wet shave, how to put the uh, the device together, which is nice to have. I'll put that somewhere dry and out of place. All right. And in the kit itself, first off, this is like a crushed velour. I mean, it just looks, it looks legit, guys. Nice brown crushed velour. You have the handle, which is sort of a, Cross hatch, like a laser hatch handle. Nice and solid. It's nice and solid, guys. We've got the head, the plate, right? I'll make sure, guys, I get it done in the right orientation this time. And I won't look like a fool today. And it comes with a package of Gillette Premium Blades. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up. And here comes the fire trucks. Because what would a Sunday shave be like if the fire department, the local fire boys, didn't have a fire to run to? Come on, Percy! You know, when they say when you live near a fire department, you get used to the sounds of the fire trucks and the horns. Don't believe them, because you, you just don't. Especially if you are trying to conduct an internet show out of Studio B, you, you, you'd never get used to it. I'm gonna slip this blade, this premium blade. I guess I should be doing this on camera, but the fire to people got me all out of sorts. I'm doing it this way. I'd slip the blade right on top. I'm putting the Make sure I orient this correctly. I'm putting the plate on. I know I'm probably doing this backward and then I'll screw the, the handle in guys. Sharp looking safety razor guys. Chrome and beautiful. I would say this is probably designed for folks that are looking at getting into wet shaving. And this is a nice little novelty item. 
and it's good for the holidays, guys, because I believe there's a limited run on these. So if you're looking to get a heritage kit, you got to get it today. And I believe there's only one place to play. Link below. Check it out on Amazon. Buy one for a friend or your father or your brother, someone you love. Buy one for yourself. You'll be doing a favor for you. You'll be doing a favor for me. And that'll be cool. All right, let's get right into it. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the face with warm water. And I'm going to apply some shave oil. I got some shave oil from my Defender kit, Defender razor kit, and I'll use that today. Little warm water, guys. Never hot water, as Brian from Executive Shaving would say. Shave oils, really you want to use a minimum amount of oil. One pump will do. So I'll do one little pump of some shave oil. And I'll apply that to the face. Gets the beard ready to receive the blade. And then what I'll do is I'll rinse some of this off with a splash of warm water. And I'll wipe a little bit of that excess off. I learned this from Brian at Executive Shaving. Just because it's Sunday and just because I love this product, I'm going with Gillette Foam Mouse. Guys, I love this. It's awesome. Apply it with a brush. Apply it with your hand. Today, I'm squirting it out of the can and I'm applying it with my hand. Now, what I love about Gillette Foam Mousse, guys, it's thin. Light on fragrance, but it provides a nice barrier of protection. I'm doing three passes today. I'm taking it all away for the Vance family. Again, show sponsors for today, Mike Vance and his team, Caitlin and Kelly. All right, three pass system. First pass, we're gonna go with the grain of the hair on your face. Hair on your face grows down, going with the grain, we're gonna shave down. Short, choppy strokes, 30 degree, sort of 30 degree angle on the face. Let's get going. Nice. Now you're gonna let the heft and the weight of the device do the work, guys. Smooth. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. You got two sides, two sides. Use them. Flip that blade. Very, very nice. Very nice. Again, if you've been thinking about getting into wet shaving, because you're hearing a lot about it, it's trendy, or because you're sick of paying for cartridges, this is probably not a bad place to start. It comes in a nice little kit. which will keep it tidy. And from an economic standpoint, that initial cost of the razor, and you can buy blades in bulk and really save yourself a ton of money in comparison to the cartridge shave. Now you wanna give yourself some time, take your time, Reading the Gillette little pamphlet inside, short little choppy strokes will do you well. Rinsing with warm water. Now, the hair on your neck grows primarily this way or upward. So you're gonna flip the blade. If you're going with the grain, you're gonna flip the blade over and shave up. Again, 30 degree angle. 
letting the device do the work, flipping the blade, and taking your time. I tell everybody in every video, you're not digging, you're shaving. Reason being is, when you first start to shave, we know, we're just happy to be shaving. But as we get a little older and we start growing more hair, it's, for some of us, it's a little annoying. You got hair all over the place. By the time you shave later that day, you got hair coming through. That initial desire is to get rid of the hair. Get it, cut it as short as possible because I don't want to shave again. You get into problems when you do that, guys. Ingrown hairs, nicks, irritation. You want to let the device do the work. You don't want to be digging at your skin. Short, somewhat choppy or segmented strokes and let the device do the work. Now, if I'm being, if I'm being honest, I'd like a little bit more extension of this handle. I think just a slight bit more would have worked good for me. But I tell you what, nice, smooth first pass. Feeling good. And there's good heft to it. Let's get ready for pass number two. And pass number two, we're going to go across the grain. And for passes two and three, I like to put, this is my own personal preference. I like to put the, the cream on a lot looser or a little bit more water to it. All right, warm water again to clean the blade. Cross grain, guys. So I'm going to do, take the blade and go across the skin. Now, with my cross grain, especially on my face, I tend to do a longer, just even stroke. You hear that blade doing the work, guys? Oh, yeah. Shave with care and clean the blade. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. You hear that blade? Now I'm liking this. One of the things I like most about this is thinking about the heritage of Gillette, but I also the heft of it. There's a good heft. And the heft means, flip the blade, heft means that your device is gonna be working for you. You gotta be careful with the cross cut though, guys. You gotta be careful with the cross grain cut because you can get into some problems if you don't take your time. Flip that blade. Nice. Personally, I try to get out of the cross cut shave on the neck. I try to get out of it without messing with the Adam's apple area too much. One more pass and we are done. All right, one more pass, which will be the against the grain cut. And then we're gonna put this one in the box. So far, so good. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. I've taken my time. All right, hair goes down on your face. We're gonna cut against the grain, guys. So we're flipping the blade up on the face and shaving up. Look at that. You hear that? Just that final finishing. Part. Short strokes.
not pushing. We'll clean the blade often. And take your time, especially around the tender parts. Nice. All right, last bit. Hair grows up. Blade in the traditional orientation because we're cutting against the grain on this pass. And we'll take it home. Short segments or chops. I want to keep the blade wet. All right, now this is where I really attend to the Adam's apple guys. And the trick to this, I have a pronounced Adam's apple. You can pull and tug using the, where you have the cream is where you haven't shaved, right? But what I learned from Brian, again, from executive shaving, you swallow hard, you hold it. Which flattens out that apple area or flattens out that space, takes the Adam's apple out of play and you're good to go. Now you can go around and obviously search for spots you missed, but that's it guys. Nice, quick and easy shave, three passes with the nice new Gillette Heritage razor. Again, link below so you can get it in this nice old school case. You probably don't wanna put this back until this is dried out. So you take it, you know, take it apart and let it dry out on a towel. And throw it back in here, throw it back into your den, and you're all set. Final touch would be a little bit of your favorite aftershave. I like Duke Cannon's ice cold aftershave bomb. Again, I want to thank the Vance family for their support, sponsoring this show. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching today. Get out, have a great Sunday. Enjoy yourselves. And I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow. But in the meantime, you know what to do. You're going to keep pushing play. Links below. Check this out. Get your gifts ready for the holiday. I'll see you next time. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Keep pushing play.